people in the whole entire world. So, I haven't vlogged in two weeks, I think. It's been two weeks since I have vlogged. And... Uh, so, good morning. Good morning, YouTube. What's up? Brian just came back from the chiropractor. That's why I got clothes on. Yeah. What you want? You still look nice just like you is. No, I look a mess. No, you don't? Yes, I do. <laughs> but I got some tears. Okay, tell me later. So, I was just about to tell y'all that I haven't vlogged in about two weeks. I've been putting out some vlogs that I, have, uh, that I already had, like... And my computer or whatever so let me just get y'all up to date what's been going on in life with lisa um for this whole week which is our fall break week from work if you don't know i'm a pre-k teacher so um we've been out for fall break and i have been sick the entire fall break yes i had the stomach flu and i have been so so sick and i mean so so sick guys like i haven't got out of bed i've been in bed every day today is friday september the something I don't know September something and yeah sorry my camera died and all that jazz but like I was saying I have been sick for the whole week and today's Friday and I got up this morning because my house has been in disaster since I've been sick and Brian works 10 hours a day so you know he's just been coming home trying to take care of me and um, I got up this morning feeling okay because I took this medicine that my grandma told me to get called something a b i don't know what's it it's in the refrigerator i don't want to go get it but i'm gonna get to show you guys what's it called hold on so this is the medicine amodium a d is for it's anti it's for control it's it controls the symptoms of diarrhea do you see that yes mint flavor so i took this last night you guys she told me on Tuesday to go get this stuff and I never went. I wish I would have went and got it. And I think it's doing its job. So far, no bathroom. I'm excited. So anyway, I took the medicine and it made me feel good today. So far, I'm feeling good. I don't want to jinx myself, so I'm going to cross my fingers. And I know I'm looking a mess, but like I said, I've been sick. And this is actually the best I've looked up all week, to be honest. Like, I've been looking a mess. So, I woke up this morning and I said, okay, Brian's about to go to the chiropractor. So, I'm going to like try to at least strain up in the house and get some laundry done. Wash the sheets on my bed and bleach, you know, the house and stuff. So, I don't want to make, because this is contagious. So, I want to make sure I kind of bleach the house so he don't get it or whatever. So, I put a load of clothes in the washing machine. In the washing machine. I washed the clothes, put them in a the dryer, they dry I go to take my sheets off the bed. I put my sheets in the washing machine and my blanket that I always have. I put it in the washing machine just to wash it or whatever. My washing machine decides that it wants to break down today. It tears all the way up. I'm so upset. I mean, I'm not really upset because I know things like this happen or whatever. But I only had this washing machine a year. March made it a year. And it's a Kenwood washing machine. We got it from Sears or whatever. We ordered it offline. The washer and the dryer from Sears. I can't believe. And the warranty went off in March. So I'm totally mad because now I got to call these people to try to get this washing machine fixed. Because like I said, I've been sick. So we have like stacks of clothes that needs to be washed. And my washing machine decides to tear up. And it's raining outside, so the day is kind of like, eh. What's up? Like, come on. Like, I posted a status on Facebook saying that my day, like, the last two months about my dog passing away. I don't know if I ever mentioned this in the video. I think I just put, rest in peace, Roscoe. My dog passed away last month, and it was the worst, worst moment. One of the, the most saddest and worst moments of my life. And... I still have moments where I cry. I cry every day about my dog still. And like I miss him so much. Like I've missed him so much this week. Because normally when I get sick. We just lay on the couch and we cuddle. You know. And he just comforts me. Like that was my baby. And I miss him so much. Like my heart's still broken about that. And I don't know when I'll ever get over him. Probably never. 
So, yeah, my dog passed away. My husband has a car wreck on the day my dog passed away. Yes. And our car takes forever to get fixed. They give us the runaround. But we finally got our car back last Friday. Hallelujah. Took the rental car back because the rental car place was... Let me tell you. If you uh, if you live in Atlanta and it's a rental car place, I think it's a Winnie Hill Road, don't ever go there. It's Enterprise on Winnie Hill Road. Do not go there, honey. Okay? Because they are a mess. And we got our car back in Fallbright and I got sick. That's life with Lisa. Welcome. Okay. So, I don't know if I ever told you guys this, but I make hair bows. And I stopped for a little while and I started back. So, here is some fabric I'm using. I'm about to get ready to make these green and pink bows. And I got some Halloween fabric. You can see. And I have some orange fabric. And I also have this owl print. Some more Halloween fabric. Some polka dotted. Well, did you say this is polka dot? I don't know. And this pink and white. So, and I also have this pink. Um, this is like burgundy. And like, it's not all the way white. This is like cream. Like, I don't know. But it's burgundy. So I'm making these fabric bows. And I have this one already made. And it's going to look like. Hold on. You can see because the lighting. Kind of like this. I have a bow already made. A green one with the clip on it. I'm going to show it to you. And this one is going to look. It kind of makes this one up. Um, this is like the Halloween bow style. And I have some pendants, so I'm going to put, not on the fabric bows, but just on my regular bows. I'm going to put some pendants on them that I bought for Halloween. And I already had these. I have crosses. I made some cross bows for this client yesterday. I have this paper where I'm going to make, I have an order to make. I'm going to show you some other bows that I already have. So, this, can you see, is one of the green bows that I made. Cute. And it has a clip on the back. This kind of clip. Let me get my string out of the way. And it just pops open. So this is a fabric bow. And I also made these bows with the ribbon. This is spooky for Halloween. And I have, have like... Um, I made Minnie Mouse bows for this Minnie Mouse party. And there's different little Minnie Mouse bows here. So, yeah. Um, so, I'm going to make some bows today. And that's just what I already have. What? <laughs> what you eat? Banana nut bread. A muffin. From quick trip. <laughs> so we got a boring day. We got a boring day today. But I'm okay with that. Because I'm not up for it anyway. I thought God said he was coming at two. He said he was going to come back. I ain't got by yet? Mm-mm. Yeah, so I called the repair guy. He's supposed to come out and look at our wash machine. Well, he said fix it. And he said it's only going to be $60 for him to fix it. But he said he will call me back at 2 o'clock. And it's uh, it 2 o'clock. Okay. 2. It just turned to. So he's going to call you at to tell, just, yeah, He said he's going to come back at 2 o'clock just in case. he, Because he said he on the other side of town. He in Atlanta. Oh. And to see what time he'll get over here because of traffic and all that stuff. But his shop is on Card Parkway. So, yeah. But he ain't called yet, so hopefully he'll come. And then Brian called someone and they said they would charge $14 to come out and see what's wrong with it. And then they could be able to fix it. But the guy that I talked to, he kind of already knew what I was talking about. He already knew that what was wrong with it. So... I'm going to see what he's talking about. Hopefully he's not talking about paying $60 for him to come look at it. And then 
you know, pay another fee for the fees. I don't know. Because C has told us they'll charge us. How much, B? Huh? How much C has said they charge? They charge $69 just to come out and see what's wrong with it. And then for us, like. Oh, Sears? Yeah. I thought they charged more. That's what I said. They charged $69 to come out. And they charge for parts and labor after they figure out what's wrong with it. Plus that $69. Mm hmm. So yeah, see it's high in that. But the company that I looked at, they was gonna be fourteen ninety five to come out to um, see what's wrong with it. If I let them fix it, they was just gonna charge me the parts and labor without the fourteen ninety five. Never. I still have the same quote on my board. Let me zoom in so you can read that. I don't know how much parts and labor. Was. It says. Your destiny is to fulfill those things upon which you focus most intently. So. Choose to keep your focus on that. What is magnificent, beautiful, uplifting, and joyful. Your life is always moving towards something. Daily inspiration. Brian Daddy loves that quote. He said it's the bomb. It's the best thing he ever read. I think he just be trying to get me hyped all up. No. No. Yes, he do. No, he don't. Yes, he do. <laughs> he be like, what he said? <laughs> what your dad said? I don't know what he said exactly, but... Oh, oh, oh that's, that's how he be wonderful. acting. That's just wonderful. That's that's just beautiful. I'm like, oh, thank you. He really put me up on a pedestal, honey. <laughs> that's my guy. But yeah, so we now we're just waiting around for him to call us. And that's it. I forgot to tell y'all something. So, yesterday I went to, <laughs> we went to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, we went to a store called Raceway, and like I told y'all, I was sick all week, right? So, in the midst of me being sick, I was freezing. So I kind of thought I had a flu or whatever. I mean, like seriously, I was cold. So we go to Raceway. It's a big store, and. Brian it was like they got frozen yogurt. So okay, I'm going to see the little frozen frozen yogurt and it's like really nice. It's like a little frozen yogurt, little spot in there with them. And I love frozen yogurt. So I was tasting the yogurt, but I was shaking. Because you know when you're cold and your lips they like tremble and you like you know you shake and stuff. So I was shaking or with them. Oh wait. Hey, I'm still playing this song too. I didn't play this song about 10 times in my song. So, I was trembling and Brian was on the other side of the store. So, <laughs> come here, Brian. No. Come here, please. Oh, my goodness. I don't want to come. Tell him, Brian. Tell him what? Come sit by me. I don't want to come on my face. Ouch. I don't know that. Okay, tell him what I was doing. He was shaking, like... Like you had the shakes or something like you were going to crack or something. You was like. <laughs> you was just like walking out there. I was like, what's wrong with you? you <laughs> I was like, you just need to get out of the store. It was cold, but. No, he was like, <laughs> I would eat the ice cream or whatever. And I was shaking like it had got real bad. I couldn't control it. Like I got <laughs> and Brian was standing over there with the thing. Peeking over there, so he saw me shaking, and he gonna, I came up behind him, he gonna say, uh, you just need to get out of stuff, cause you look like a crackhead. I was like, oh! <laughs> really, Ninja? Your hair was sticking up and stuff? Not, no, it wasn't yes, sticking it up, was. you wouldn't lie. It was right here in the front. That no, was, it was not. That's why I said it, I wouldn't say it nothing like that. It was sticking up when I got in the car and I looked. I know, but you were like trying to wave it down, like, it wasn't in the ponytail at first, and then you tried to like pull it back. <laughs> And then when you got out, you didn't look at the mirror, and it was kind of like... So you let was, me walk in the store? It was in a ponytail, but you know how it be like, kind of like, scrunched up, like, like this right here. Like, kind of scrunched up. So you, <laughs> I was looking like you, like his hair looking right now. <laughs> and you were like, with ice cream in your hand, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so he let me get out the car. How I'm sticking up. I'm looking around. I didn't realize head. they were like that until He you. said that them people are going to think. Let me tell you what he said, okay? He said that those people in the store was going to think that I was his crackhead and he was my pimp. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I said it. That's why I snatched the keys and I ran out of stuff because he tried to embarrass me. No, I did try to embarrass you. Yeah, you said and you and then he. You know how you. Oh my god. Okay, okay, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Come here. You know I didn't try to. He embarrass try to embarrass me. Just, I was just trying to tell you how you were looking in the store. You were looking like <laughs> awful. So I was trying to tell you <laughs> in the way that I can deliver it, and I delivered it like that because I was like. Adrenaline was rushing because the windshield wiper wasn't working. <laughs> I knew I had to go get that fix in the morning. I had a lot of adrenaline rushing. And then he was in there just. He's so light. He was just like it. Like he was on something. I'm like, what's wrong with you? Was, no, you didn't say that. I didn't say that. He was like. <laughs> you was head. like, no, because you just need to go. You need to go to the car. Yeah, I was like, no, go to the car, go to the car. Because I was cold. And that's like a um, like a um, frozen yogurt bar, so it was cold over in that area. It was like, cold, and that's y'all kind of had like the fruits and stuff right there, like all kind of different little stuff you put on the yogurt. So I knew it was cold, so I was like, get out of there. Yeah, that was so cold. I just made this boy. I just said, I just said the little funniest thing in the end about the crankhead part. That was, was funny. But you took it to the heart. I'm sorry. I didn't take it to the heart, babe. Okay. I was just playing. All right. I'm just saying he didn't. Like, it was just a joke. It was a joke. It was just how you were shaking. I was just, you know, like if I could have filmed that, you would have been like, I was shaking like that. You you didn't see how you were I wish I had a camera so he could film me. Like you I was like, sick. Like, I went, I ain't like, recording like, nothing. But your leg like this, bow legged like you were like, I was bow shaking legged. with the eye up in the house, like, really? All right. That's why I gave you the ice cream, sweetie. <laughs> yes. I gave him the ice cream so he could pay for it so I can go to the car. Cause, And then when I got in the car, so you know I was telling the truth, Brian, because when I got in the car, I turned the heat up. Full blast. Didn't I? Yeah. I was so cold, man. I was already getting home. So when I got home, I put my blanket on, my jacket on, my socks, my night clothes. Yeah, heat on everything. And he said I was trying to make him fall out. What you said? You trying to make me fall out because I've been working. I'm hot. I was sweating. All day at work. And then I get in the car. I thought I was going to Oh, it's a blurry. Okay. Nothing. Man, I was cold. Nothing. Today I'm feeling so much better. I'm happy I feel so much better. But yeah, so I was freezing. Those people were kind of staring at me. I don't know. It's a lot of people up here in Atlanta that's on drugs too, so they probably thought this health is in here. Strong out. I was shaking so bad. I thought I was gonna have to go to the hospital because I was so cold. And then I told Brian, excuse me, but I told Brian, I was like, I'm not, for some reason when I get sick, this boy think I be playing. And I told him that I was so cold and he touched my arms like he said I felt like an ice box. And I felt the warmth from his hand because his hands were warm, but I was just so cold. So I didn't know. I don't know what was going on, but I'm still a little cold. Not like I was, like I'm not shaking or nothing, but getting better, getting better. Yeah. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. They got alcohol and beer. It's a bar? Yeah. It says, that, what's she doing? Because it says three dollar cafe. What? So much for that, so. They got these bitches everywhere too. So they go up there. What? Come on, come on. Come behind you. I'm talking about they don't be behind me. She is carrying on too bad. I don't know who she talking to. So it's a little. We just. I thought I was coming to the $3 store, which is right here. Oh, I can't see it. Hold on. Right there. But it says $3 cafe. It's a bar. <laughs> I thought they sold stuff for $3. Too casual. <laughs> they have stores. They have like a, not, it's not called a Dollar Tree, but it's called a 99 cent store. Uh -huh. And it's like, it sells a bunch of stuff in there. 99 cents. Okay. That's great. Oh, I was excited. Oh, what's she doing? Uh-oh, what's she looking at? Huh? What's wrong with that girl? She's doing something. <laughs> what's she gonna do? I don't know. Anyway, so, yeah, so we was on our way to the $3 store. 
but it's a bar and yeah so we're not going there anymore Look at this tea here. My heart beats up there. I just saw this girl standing on the side of the car. She probably went home or something. I don't even want her to car roll over. So, we are back and we just left the $3 cafe. Which we thought was a $3 store. But it's a bar. <laughs> so, we, we've been planning to go around here for too long. That's cool though. The dude, I never call me that. Yeah, and I was so excited about this, though. I thought we might see some stuff for three dollars. So hopefully, you think my camera gonna fall out? Mm. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. I can show you the camera I want. You know how long I've been asking you to go to Best Buy? I can't. I can't walk like that. Go home. Going home. I don't want to go home. Oh when a person hasn't been out of the house all week, they don't want to go back home. Yeah, they all good. It's good. Yeah, but ain't moving or nothing. Perfect. Perfecto. Okay, man, I'm bad. I'm going to count the camera. Yeah, that dude in there, you know that guy who I'm talking about on that crazy movie? Who is that one? I don't know. What's crazy movie? I only move with a light skin dude with a curly hair and then his brother was crazy. That he oh, just got yeah, out of jail. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. Um, um, I can't remember the name of it, but I know what you're talking about. What is his daddy's name? Yeah, that truck with the roof cut off on it. Yes, what's the name of that movie? I don't know. I don't forget. That boy look just like his daddy. Now, something wrong with his eyes, so his eyes are a little bit low. Mad dog. He looked, was the dad name Mad Dog? Uh, I don't know, I can't Yeah, I, I the daddy name don't was Mad Dog. No I don't know, I don't know. The guy daddy name was Mad Dog and I just seen this dude look just like him. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. I'm saying, I ain't saying you know what you're talking about. I just said, I don't know. I Thank remember the home. movie. Yeah, he almost looked like it to me. Yeah. Ooh, ooh! Honey, when I tell you, about to be a wreck over here every day. Yeah, I told you. Every time you pull out of where you live and Come on, the on the seat belt. You gotta yeah, make sure you have your seatbelt on, cause uh, unless you got a death wish, look, look, look. because these people cannot drive. Like I, I don't understand. Okay. Oh, ain't no cars on this other side of the road. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I'm gonna get out of the car, pull away, cause that way it's so busy. No shakerization. Shakerization. No. I get it from the brakes and sisters. Oh no, nah, it ain't moving no more because it, it resting on it and it, and it scrapped down to the window so then it went off. Like DJ. <laughs> <laughs> DJ be dancing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he really has got the camera on his face. I'm excited about the camera not shaking. Ain't been a lot of recording in the car. Woo woo! Yes it is when I go to work. <laughs> and when I get out, baby, it's gonna be me and you. <laughs> So we about to go to I know where we, we don't know know where Farmers Market. No, nah, we ain't going to farm market. Oh, where we about to go? I don't know. I like the farmers market too. It ain't rain no more. It's not raining anymore. Somebody said, um, girl that I know from New Jersey, she was like Y'all are so country down here because I say auntie, right? What that's what I said. Auntie. Yeah. Because I say auntie, and she was like, instead of aunt, instead of saying aunt, like my aunt Erica, or whatever, I call her auntie. I don't say her name, just say auntie. And she was like, oh, y'all so country. What you supposed to say, Aunt Patricia? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was like, she'd be telling her nieces to call her aunt, aunt Keisha. Auntie. And I'd be like, Auntie, what's up, girl? <laughs> auntie. I didn't know that was country. Yeah, they be talking about how I be talking that word, too, because, you know, care. I'm real country, so. I don't you're care. like, oh my gosh, you're so country. But that's the funny I'd thing, be like, like that's the funny thing about me, like, I'm country, but, like, when I write, or when I send a text message, you don't know I talk like this. Yeah, every time, but. <laughs> I'm like, I'm probably every time on the word. I'm Brian send me right. a text message, it's all like, 
the periods and stuff in place. You know, when you text, you know, you like words be like I N R or I D K. I don't know, you know, stuff like that. I think I was just looking cross eyed. <laughs> but um, this boy, he always texts you like he writing a paper. And I'd be like, Brian would have took his time on his test. And wow, that's why he don't like to text y'all because he don't know how to like, is it called subtext? No, subtext or whatever. Yeah. Short hand or whatever. I don't know. I don't know, I know what it's called, but he don't know how to do that. So when I text him, it takes him forever to text back, and then I text him again. He'll say, "I don't want to text no more." Because <laughs> first he feel like he writing a school paper. <laughs> I know, writing a school paper. Be concentrating stuff like this. Yeah. <laughs> Like, oh, okay, this is the end of this sentence. Put a period right here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start a new sentence. So I gotta. <laughs> Not people are showing up. I can't help it. I can't help it. Look, I said, I can't help it. Help it. We can't help it. We're from Georgia. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> Georgia, Georgia. I don't care I like the way I talk, I feel comfortable doing it the way I do it. So, so what it is, what it is. Oh, so tell the people what you thought about Empire. Empire? Oh, so we Empire. all know Empire came on was yesterday? No, yeah. day for yesterday. Day for yesterday. It's first its premiere was day for yesterday. What you think about it? It's awesome, man. It's gonna be another great season, you know. The start the starting season premiere, like awesome. First off, and when I first watched it, I thought it was boring. Like the first little part where they was on stage. So I turned the TV off and I went on to sleep. But mainly because Bryant was snoring. No, I don't put it on me. No, you were snoring out of control in the living room. He was laying in the chair and I was in the other chair. And Brian was snoring so bad I couldn't hear nothing Cookie was saying. So I turned the TV off because I couldn't enjoy it because this boy was just trying to snore over the TV. I, I, I apologize. Yeah, you don't have nothing to say. I apologize, but I was asleep, so that's how I sleep. So I like told you, like he like in the jungle. But I knew it was showing. I went to sleep because I knew it was gonna be on Hulu. And I watched it with him yesterday, and it was good. I think it's gonna be a good season too. But see, the, the uh, premiere, season premiere always be like sort of like a guideline for what's gonna be happening. Uh, throughout the season, so you gotta kind of get watch the first episode, so you can kind of get the feeling of how the season gonna be. You know what I mean? Like, cause everybody thought like cooking them was gonna really just take Lucius down from well, like, the last episode because they got him locked up and everything. But come to find out, Lucius got a little bit more power than what they think. Ooh, team Lucius, baby. I like Lucius. I'm saying, but you know. I think his son, the one that's gay or whatever, I think that he is gonna be just like Lucius. He, his attitude gonna be just like Lucius, and Cookie gonna take his whole head off. Yeah, you can kind of see it coming now. That's why I said when you watch the first season, you can kind of see what's gonna happen, but you can't you can't predict what's gonna happen because you don't know what the writer gonna be gonna write in the storyline, what I'm written in the storyline, but. You got a feeling of what, you know what I mean, could, could happen. So, mm -hmm. a lot of speculation about what's going to go on. That that makes it more, have more viewers too, because everybody want to know what's going to happen next. Yeah, I'm bad. Because I, I thought for sure Lucia was going to get into it with that guy. And, and they was going to be like, he was going to kill him, but then everything just turned. Yeah. And then I thought. Yeah, he was so excited. He started jumping up in the truck. Next, next Wednesday, well, we watch it on. We have cable, but we never watch it on cable, so because we don't like commercials, so we watch it on. Well, who look Hulu. Com commercial. I'm commercials. saying they got commercials, but not that many though, and like, not as long. Yeah. So we like to watch it on Hulu Plus. So yeah, so we probably watch it Thursday night instead of Wednesday night. But and I then, might film when we and watch. And then it. they be having like other shows coming on at that same time, so you got the option of not watching the show. You can watch something else if you're not really in the mood. But if you know what I'm saying, if you want to watch it on Wednesday night, we can watch it on Wednesday night, but... Yeah, I don't want to watch it on TV, I think. And then, you know, we ain't got the, on um, TV. we don't have the, um, HD I don't package. I don't like it on yeah, TV. Yeah, we don't have the HD package on our we cable, so... But when we watch it on Hulu Plus, on Roku, 
it's in HD, so. Somebody come get it's, it. It's much clearer. Like but you can tell the difference in, well, from SD to HD because a lot of people, like, you can't really tell like that, but, like, you, ain't never, you don't really watch TV if you can't tell. Or you ain't got I it. like, when I watch TV, y'all, I want it to look clear. And that's HD, that's what you want. That's, that's the only way I want to watch TV. If, it, if it's not in HD, I'm not watching it. Okay. Guys, bone there looks so good. Salad. Yummy. Brian, how much you think you're gonna be? Oh, about 25, 22. This this little stuff right here. Yeah. 25 dollars. This we're gonna make it be the most though. One on five dollars and one on seven. Right now. Uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say 30, 35. Yeah, so she's gonna look at my salad from Kroger's. Don't it look good? Mm, 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 mm. mm. So right now we just left Kroger's and we are at the convenience store. Yo, holding this camera is aggravating. It makes my arm hurt so bad. But oh this man can't get out of the car. Anyway, excuse me, I keep burping because I taste it. You know like when you go to Kroger's they have all these little cups so you can taste the food or whatever. So I've been tasting all their food and I've been feeling good all morning and all day because I haven't ate anything. Tasting that food in Kroger's is my first time eating anything, so I'm feeling a little queasy. I taste guacamole. I taste guacamole and some kind of cheese. I taste um, the potato, bacon potato soup. I taste something else, y'all, but yep, it's yep. My stomach is, yeah. So I'm saying, but um, anyways, so it's 14, and we're about to go be about to get something, some um, get me a ginger ale at the store. Hopefully, I can eat this salad that I just got because I really, really want it, y'all, because I'm really hungry. This sucks, man. I might go when I eat my food. I'm gonna take that medicine again, and then I'm. We're going to go rent a movie from the Red Box and watch it. So, this will probably be my last time coming out today. So, I'll probably get my sheets out, dry, and put them and make my bed up. Because that's probably where I'm going to be the rest of the day. But, yeah. So, i see y'all when I get home. So, I forgot to show you guys what I had bought from Kroger's. It's this roasted seaweed snack with sea salt. And they have a bigger bag, but I just got this little pack. And it was a, a dollar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it only cost a dollar. And I be seeing Judy and Benji eat this, and somebody else I watch on YouTube that eats the seaweed snack. So I'm gonna try it, and I'll tell you guys what I think about it. Okay, so Brian's gonna try one first, and tell us what he thinks. <laughs> I see we they be on sushi. Really? Mm -hmm. It tastes the salt. You must like it. You keep eating it. It ain't bad. Let's see. Feel me. It ain't bad. Okay. And it's like paper. It tastes like seafood, like sea. It ain't bad. I ain't nothing I eat. Yeah. It ain't nothing I eat. But it ain't like disgusting, like something you would never want again. It got a good little flavor. I tell you, like seafood. Mm -hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm. I like it, but I went by it again. It ain't that like you want to eat it today. Yeah. It ain't but, bad to try. It's, it's great to try. See, that's why I'm glad they had it in a little packet. So, I didn't waste my money because it was only a dollar. I just want to see. I always want to see what it's seaweed tastes like like this. So, and that's all. 
Okay guys, so I'm just gonna show you what movies we rented from the Red Box and we got Hot Pursuit, can you see? Hot Pursuit. I heard that's gonna be good. Hopefully it's good. And Mad, Mad Max. I hope you can see. Yeah, Mad Max. So anyway, we're gonna watch those two movies. Barney is on a balcony right now. Um, we, I just tried to eat my salad. And I couldn't eat it. I ate the banana peppers out of the salad and I ate the cucumbers and tomatoes out of the salad and that threw the rest away. I shared the salad with Brian, so it wasn't a waste of money. And I didn't eat none of the chicken tenders. So I'm gonna drink the ginger ale and take the medicine I showed you guys earlier again and get on a chair with my blanket and call it a day. Cause it's only 4.30 and I'm not going back outside. I got my around the house clothes back on and I'm about to get in that chair and I'm about to chill the rest of the day, take a nap, wake up, watch some old TV, edit a vlog or something and go back to sleep. And I will see you guys tomorrow. This is the end of the vlog. I'm sorry I'm eating it earlier, but I don't feel good. So hopefully tomorrow will be a better day and we'll be doing something more interesting. So guys have a great weekend and maybe i will see you guys tomorrow be blessed